Mesenchymal stem cells are fibroblast-like cells which reside in the bone marrow, adipose tissue, skin, and periosteum of vertebrate animals, including humans. MSCs have the capacity to differentiate into cartilage, bone, fat, tendon, and muscle. MSCs represent a renewable source of cells that could be used for tissue regeneration or reconstruction of damaged musculoskeletal tissue by cellular transplantation. However, a person's habit and lifestyle choices may affect the effectiveness of such therapies. In fact, many of the patients in need of these cellular therapies, such as those who smoke, could potentially have niche environments in their body that will render these stem cell populations ineffective post-transplantation. High levels of cigarette chemicals in the blood of smokers, for example, could potentially damage the transplanted MSCs and render them ineffective. It is therefore important to investigate the effects of such habits on stem cell populations. Cigarette smoking is a well-known risk factor for a number of diseases, including cardiopulmonary diseases in the adult population. The effects of nicotine, the main chemical in cigarette smoke, on adult MSCs and their ability to differentiate remain largely unexplored. It has been reported that the mechanical properties of stem cells play a key role in their potential to differentiate. Stiffer cells are unable to respond to the external mechanical stimuli necessary to drive differentiation into various cell types. In fact, the mechanical properties of stem cells, which dictate their response to mechanical stimuli, can actually be used as a biomarker to me measure multipotency. In order to assess the mechanical properties of stem cells, previous studies have measured the Young's modulus of elasticity using micropipette aspiration and atomic force microscopy. Previous atomic force microscopy studies on MSCs, however, use a spherical probe that is 5 to 10 microns in radius, which measure an average Young's modulus of the whole cell. Because the nucleus plays an important role in a cell's mechanical properties, it is important to explore the mechanical properties of both the nuclear and cytoplasmic regions. Therefore, the first purpose of this project was to quantify the mechanical properties of the nucleus and cytoplasm of mesenchymal stem cells independently. The second objective of this study was to explore the effects of nicotine on this biophysical property of MSCs. After 72 hours of a serum deprivation synchronization protocol, the MSCs in this study were treated with media of different nicotine concentrations ranging from 0.1 micromolar to 1 micromolar in order to assess the effects of nicotine on these cells. Following 48 hours of incubation in the nicotine media, the cells were tested using the atomic force microscope shown and were tested individually over both their cytoplasm and nucleus. Our experiments showed that as the concentration of nicotine increased, the Young's modulus, and therefore stiffness, of the MSCs increased both for nucleus and cytoplasm values. The Young's modulus of the nucleus of cells treated with nicotine was significantly different to that of the control cells in regular media for all concentrations of nicotine. The measured Young's modulus for the cytoplasm of cells treated with nicotine was significantly different from the control cells for cells treated with 0.5 and 1 micromolar nicotine concentrations only. This re the results of this proof-of-principle study show that nicotine increases the stiffness of MSEs in vitro in a dose-dependent manner. The exposure was done in the short time span of 48 hours. An increase in stiffness due to nicotine treatment was seen, however. This is relevant for regenerative medicine applications where MSCs are injected into the blood or target organs, as studies have shown that MSCs remain in the body for more than 48 hours after infusion. This could suggest that MSC therapies could be less effective on people who smoke, as infused MSCs will be exposed to high nicotine levels in the blood, limiting their therapeutic potential.